remember the name, but here at UCI, the University of California, Irvine, there is a whole cannabis research program, and they talked about the this cannabinoids. Uh, in the, the, there are different compounds within cannabis. They've only identified a couple. The THC is the co part that gets you high, but the um, uh, CBD and CVG -G yes, and all these other things all, and what they found is that they, just what you're saying, they plug into a system. You didn't learn about the system when you're in medical school. They didn't recognize that we have neuroreceptors for these types of plants these types of chemicals yeah exactly uh it's not taught about just because uh, it's hard to say who is really creating the curriculum in medical school that's uh <laughs> maybe we shouldn't maybe we'll pass on that wow, right now but, uh, on that <laughs> but um basically you know you learn pharmacol you know pharmacology which is all pill related right. but you can learn a lot of pharmacology from cannabis and to go back to the point uci has one of the like really nice research dr daniel piomelli and uh, I think that's that's serious research at serious universities. Yes. This isn't the only one for a long time now on the really powerful health benefits within that plant. Now, the problem was the plant made people high. Mm. So it was banned. It was long established in modern cult in Western cultures, not just as a recreational product, but as a potential medicinal product. 